All right, Hello Hard. It's gonna be easy and fun, and hopefully you guys are into it. So I'm glad you are here, and uh, feel free to say hello in chat, and um, uh, let's get this party started, okay? If that works for you, let's go live. Cool, really fun. Uh, get this party started. Sorry if I've been ignoring uh, Facebook and Instagram, but I'm here now. All right, so. Uh, let's jump in. Open up a browser. All right, and I typically jump out to the browser. Also, you have Discord as well. And uh, that's where both places you could basically get the assets. Okay, right over here, you can see the URL, Shablamo. Okay, there we are. Uh, we'll switch over to Photoshop on my desktop and Discord and all that fun stuff. Here we are. Here's the creative challenge, right? New landscape mixer, grab the file there, and then also contribute. So uh, you can see right down here, challenge, get feedback, uh, show off your work. Oh, I like how this is like a sort of like a stitched look. Uh, might be using, it almost looks like mosaic tiles, but it's, it's really cool. So everybody's been doing a great job. I really love this one. Kadrov did a great job as well. So uh, yeah. Submit your work, get feedback, and thank you everybody who's giving feedback as well. This one's absolutely gorgeous. I even like the crop there as well. So uh, feel free. I think people have had fun with that one, and that's hilarious as well. Come on now. Too much fun, everybody's. You're having way too much fun. You got to stop it already. Okay, also out in the browser, you're going to grab the new landscape mixer file. So again, get started. Grab that file. I already have it on my desktop, so I'll get... Uh, get it right now landscape it's going to be pretty easy to do but we're also i also want to take this into the next level for those of you pros out there even though it's been out for a couple weeks um yeah even though it's been out here a couple weeks i think people kind of get the hang of it so let me switch sides bam there we are so we have a number of landscapes boom 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 all of them so Again, I could take any one of these, go to filter, go to neural filters, right? And I could do this right away. Before you even do that, you want to come over here and you want to make this a smart object. Right click on that layer, smart object. If you're making, if you're doing anything a lot, hey, turn it into a shortcut. My most used shortcut is um, smart objects, converting something to a smart object and tiling um, my tabs into, so all the files are tiled in my view window, those are my two. But now let's go into neural filters and we could output this landscape mixer. We'll turn that on. We'll output it as a smart object, smart filter right down here. Output as a smart filter, okay? So right in here, we turn on the landscape mixer. Nothing has happened. Um, and I know typically people show to hit these sliders. People don't do that. People typically jump straight to the images and click on them. That's totally fine. And let's move my big honking head out of the way. There we are. Uh, yeah, you could click on this. I usually will click on this one. That's, that's probably what you would do. And you're like, what's happening? Well, some processing is happening. It's going to take this and make it look like a snowy day. Where's my, where's my Buffalo check? Where's my big comfy shirt? Boom, and it comes with a sound effect. Oh, Michelle, thank you so much on LinkedIn, awesome. So this is, what was that called? Uh, oh shoot, I, I'm looking at old chat and I'm so sorry. Uh, but look at how amazing that is. Like it boom, makes it look like a snowy scene. Guess what, we can scale this down. Say, hey, you know what? Maybe it's not quite that sn snowy. We're not like that in Colorado. This personally reminds me of any place outside of Denver. <laughs> Because you have I-25 that runs north and south that cuts through Denver, Colorado Springs, Pueblo, goes clear up to Cheyenne. Now, this is kind of more along with what you might see. You might get snow in the high country, right? And then it might be kind of like melted down here. So again, all I did is adjust the strength over here, okay? But let's not even pick an image. Can I actually just undo that? And let's go over here. Let's take this and let's say, hey, you know, what if I want this to be sunset? I'll drag that clear to 100. Yes, you could totally freak people out with this. Okay, sunset made, basically took everything, made everything orange. It did some interesting things in the sky here. That's fascinating. 
but yeah, like not bad. Let's crank up Sunset Autumn. We'll get this really orange. Okay, so there that is. I think it did some cool things in the sky. So we'll just go ahead and click OK. <sighs> Call it a day. So there's that one, right? Mm, it's OK, Paul. It's OK, isn't it? And guess what? I wasn't crazy about the sky to begin with. In fact, some of these don't even have a sky. Now, for a lot of these, I've given you like a little bit more of the image. But maybe for this one, maybe I want to throw a dramatic sky in there. You do have sky replacement. So jump in there. I'll sometimes use sky replacement with your um, uh, landscape mixer as well. So right in here, we'll click, give it a second, and uh, we'll just grab kind of a more, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, maybe a more dramatic sky. So that looks pretty cool, but when you do that, the ground doesn't match, right? So it's like, that's when Landscape Mixer comes into play. Landscape Mixer needs to be able to take this image, and again, I'll make it a smart object, and go into Neural Filters. And yeah, now that we made this sunset sky, that's when you want to go into Landscape Mixer, turn that on, and then crank up the sunset for this image. So again, that's kind of the problem it could create. Sky replacement is it only replaces the sky and doesn't, it does affect a little bit of the ground, but not to this level. And look at how much better this looks as well. Let's crank up autumn really fast. Uh, we've temporarily disabled the filter because of an error. Oh, and, and key, I do not know what's happened. It's disabled uh, the filter because I got that the other day. I, I think sometimes there might be an issue with the, the database of a gazillion images that say what a sunset is. So I think it's having a, it, I had that the other day and it cleared up right away. So that's the only thing I can think of. So check this out, Point, pointing this out, when I, when I increase this to autumn, autumn adds that nice uh, sort of gold tint. So it kind of brightens it up a little bit. And this already looks much better uh, than what I had before. So I'll click OK, there it is. And again, we'll go to our before neural filters was just like this. You're not fooling anyone, okay? We'll turn that on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And then it will, you'll get the obvious, okay? Now, here's where you're manipulating. You're, you're, you have a God complex now. You're manipulating life or something. Right, I encourage you as well, and again, this is kind of a pro tip, but go into technology previews and enable content credentials. So this is a way to show uh, what you did to the image, content credentials beta. So let's preview this. And right in here, um, it shows everything that you've done to the because basically you're taking you're talking about taking that Florida image and making it look like it snowed in Florida and then you're gonna fool your friends and now all of a sudden you're into this fake news stuff you know you're down this fake news rabbit hole for likes <laughs> I'm just kidding but yeah like this says hey I modified this image and here's everything I did. I combined some assets. I used some AI tools. Hey, guess what? Here's the original image. So, oh yeah, and then here is my sky. So that's what the Content Credentials does, which is so amazing, and I feel like a lot of people have been really into this. Go into Export As for this, and right down here, again, this is all in the latest Photoshop. Right over here, turn this on, Attach of the content credentials of that metadata to this image, right? And then we'll just click export and we'll put it out on our desktop, okay? So uh, we wanna be really open and clear, just, just like we are with knowledge, like, hey guys, this is the stuff I made. I, w I want you to know everything I did to make it. We're just, we're just a very, I don't know, I think, Creatives were all sensitive, but also like we don't have an ego. We're like, here's what I did. What do you think? So now I'm going to verify.content authenticity. If you care to learn, but choose image, just grab that image and drop it right in here. So now in the browser, you ready for it? 
shows me all the layers off to the left hand side. Everything I did off to the right, not quite everything since this is just a technology preview, which just means it's kind of like a beta and all that good stuff. But then even in here, I can say choose comparisons. Here is my original, right? And let's change this to, yeah, let's keep this in slider. Here is my original back here. And then here's the new version that I created with landscape mixer and sky replacement. The before and then the after. So again, it's pretty cool. That's just revealing the metadata. That's all this window does, right? That's all it does. What we hope to see is to have, you know, various social media. So I should have connected accounts. I don't know why they're not connected now. There we go. So I have uh, Behance, Instagram, and Twitter are all kind of partners as part of this content authenticity initiative. And uh, they could maybe expose some of these, this metadata if they want to. I think it gets to be really important when it comes to crypt crypto uh, or NFTs, right? Showing people the authenticity of your image uh, for what you create. So that's all, and I think that's fun. How's the file size affected? Minimally at best, okay? That's the short of it. Minimally at best. In fact, we could run, your, we could run a test, huh? You wanna know, Frank? Let's, Frank wants to know, everybody, stop the show. We'll stop the show. We gotta, okay, this is without, W-O. Frank wants to know, how does it, <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is without 203K, I'm curious. Oh, holy sh holy shnikes. Oh, I stand corrected, Frank. I was just I was just picking on you and I was just put in my place because I was thinking metadata, oh, that's text. Well, actually that's not so much because look what it does do. These are two JPEGs. This is the one without the metadata, 203K. And with all that metadata, it's not only that metadata, it's also those uh, layers as well. Okay, so it's all those layers that are included. So thank you so much for pointing that out. And boy, Frank, I owe you, I owe you soda or something. I need to buy you a $5 coffee because that's embarrassing. <laughs> but it is storing all that information uh, because it is revealing it in the browser, as you can see right over here. It's, you know, kind of showing me or storing all these layers as well. That being said, uh, it would behoove me to delete the images that I'm not using. All right. More like megadata, am I right? Ha <laughs> ha, Ah, love it, man. Let's get stuff. Okay, let's take this a little step further. So this, I'm gonna take this person, okay? Person is kind of going on a hike. Okay, we'll make this a smart object with my shortcut. We'll go into neural filters. Uh, we'll go into landscape mixer. <laughs> uh, let's try one of these. Let's try this very, it's, it's gonna steal all those bushes and trees and all that overgrowth and apply it to this image. It's gonna be very green. Let's move over my big head. I'm so sorry, I'm taking a more screen than I need to. Made it look very, very green, okay? But look what it did to this person, right? It is so green, the grass is growing on her head or his head, right? It's like, whoa, we don't, we don't need to mess with the person, do ya? Well, that's when you go right over here. What's over here? Oh, let's preserve that subject. Maybe don't don't put moss on the subject unless they're facing north, okay? <laughs> but there they are. Wait for it, wait for it. Zip. And you can see it corrects them, it cuts them out. Are you not impressed? Look at that preserved subject. Thank you very much, okay? Son of a biscuit. Yeah, I don't cuss, guys. I will not cuss. I'm not a cusser. Uh, selecting harmonized subject because we've changed the environment. Don't put moss on them, but make it look like they're part of this environment. Boom, harmonize subject. Okay, does that. Can the subject be chosen? Uh, great question, Bliss. All right, so let's move on. Just kidding. <laughs> what if I just didn't answer you? Um, I don't know how to choose the subject. So the, I don't know how. 
Uh, the filter can be applied to a selected area if you select that area either before or after, but I would do it before. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's going to do the select subject. So this is what's going to happen. Maybe this will give us an idea. Okay. So again, it protected that person, which is fantastic. Let's just duplicate that layer. Get rid of that. Let's just rasterize this for fun. Let's go for a little faster. We'll go into um, object selection tool. We're just gonna click select subject, right? So it selects this subject. So if you click select subject, it's gonna go ahead and show you uh, what Photoshop thinks the subject is. So no currently, there isn't a way to define the subject, but maybe that's coming in the future. All right, all right. Let's move on. Uh, so yeah, and that's it. Like this is this is not hard. This is not rocket science. Um, but I encourage you to even try it with uh, maybe even some non-standard things. So and again, maybe you want to go to again. I talk about plugins a lot. You can jump out here. Let's do free stock search. Yeah, why not? We'll search for. Uh, portrait. We did portraits yesterday, right? So we'll do do a quick search on a portrait. We'll grab this image. Okay, taking this image, and we'll go to filter. We'll go into neural filters, and we'll see what happens here when we do landscape mixer on a face. Okay, so we're gonna add the snowy landscape mixer, and. Uh, See what happens. I typically like doing this with an old guide and we can make old man winter this way, okay? But keep in mind, it only knows trees and mountains and landscapes and things like that. So it's not gonna go what the, it's not gonna know what's going on. First off, look what it did. It actually kept my last setting. So it preserved the subject and harmonized the subject, which is absolutely amazing. So it just changed the background. That is so cool, even though technically like you couldn't really see anything there. So it deals with depth of field and all that fun stuff. I'm turning that off and now it's really gonna jack with her face. And uh, that's what we're gonna see here in a second. Boom, there we are. And now again, we have this woman. It's, uh, what does it give you? Uh, What's that one show with uh, Soros? Oh gosh, I can't remember. The Lovely Bones. This reminds me of The Lovely Bones for some reason. You know, or whatever. You get the idea. So yes, now we have this person that Paul has jacked with, right? Cool. But again, I like the idea of taking tools and say, hey, you know what? I know it's used for this, but what else can it do? How can we get creative with this? And yes, it does look like she's frozen. You're exactly right. Kind of put frost and snow in her hair and different things like that. Okay, uh, hopefully that's not too morbid. I apologize. Um, and uh, you get the idea. Hello, Muriel. Good to see you here. Thanks for joining me over there on Facebook. Um, the Lovely Bones is a... Is um yeah, the New Zealand movie. What's Soros Ro Ronan? Is that her name? I'm not sure. But in the assets, know that I've given you a number of images, given you the chance to play with sort of this image. There's this one I made. There's this one, obviously that we changed a lot. And then there's also this one right here as well. I like the idea of picking one with a foreground as well, just to see what happens in there with that foreground and then the lake. And it's gonna do the obvious. Hey, let's do it, why not? Jump in here, landscape mixer, turn that on. We see our images right over here. And I'm like, okay, this doesn't quite work. So I want something else. Guess what? There's custom. And from here, you can select uh, an image from your desktop. So now I'm gonna jump out, grab something else that is beautiful. If I have anything beautiful, maybe I don't. Nope. I need that image is what I need. Oh, here we go. Here we go, like this one for instance. Let's steal all this content. 
I'm curious if it's gonna add in any flowers, but that's what I've picked. Strength is set to 100%, and let's see what happens. All right. Adding neural filters work fine on a selection. Cool. There we go. So that's what it does uh, when taking that um, field of sunflowers and applies it right in here. So it does better than nothing, but it still needs some work because it looks like it just splatted a bunch of, uh, of sunflowers on these rocks, right? And ultimately I need to bring those in. But anyways, just trying to push it to its limits, as you can see. Uh, feel free to try what you want, uh, work out what you want. Obviously, I have ones that will work better. Let's make this in a desert into a desert scene. This looks like where does this where does this look like it's from? I do not know. Utah somewhere. But we'll try it as well, selecting that image. Do your thing. Processing. Yeah, yeah, alien landscape. Hey, I'm <laughs> better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, upstate New York, maybe. Okay, so again, alien landscape. You get the idea. All right, so what we've learned <clears throat> uh, is that uh, the the closer the structures are in the in your um, source photo, the better off it's going to be, right? So that's kind of what we realized. Cool. You get the idea. We'll click OK. I think we've pushed it to its limits. It did some crazy things there. Okay. Again, going back to our original, this one. And of course, this one is probably my best. And I really like what we did here too. So we have two really good ones. Um, let me show you really fast. Landscape mixer. Land. Let's open up this file. So here's a case where it's just one, um, one image. This is the current one and all the different seasons I applied to that one. So we can kind of click through these. Where it added those trees. So actually this is the original right here. Let's move it to the top. All right, there we go. I should name each one of these, but you can see the snowy scene. We can see sunset on and on and on. And uh, you can obviously tell what's happened uh, with all of these. This looks more like maybe a fall sunset even further into the sunset on down the line. So yeah, have fun with Landscape Mixer, create what you want. Shoot, I'll actually output this one and uh, put that in Discord because I think that one's pretty impressive. All right, but have fun with it. Should be a pretty quick daily creative challenge. Uh, but lots of fun. Landscape Mixer. All right. Thank you, Jan. Thank you, Nusheen, Joanna, uh, Michelle, Mike, Bruce. Appreciate you guys. Jeez, it is Tuesday. I have three more days of these fun daily creative challenges that I've been having a blast with, just so you know. I just like hanging out with you guys. Is that okay? Just I just absolutely love this. And uh, hopefully you're having a lot of fun as well um, with me. So uh, feel free to let my boss know. Who's Rufus Deutschler is my boss. <laughs> Spam him with a bunch of emails. So you get the idea. Thank you, Frank, Joanna. Appreciate by the, all this talent in the room as well. And uh, you guys are fantastic. So stay tuned. Uh, we have more coming up today. In fact, if we take a look. We have three ology up next, designing some holiday cards. Get those done and out the door, right? And yeah, sort of be the, I'm gonna be the hero this holiday season. Watch the next stream and uh, thanks so much. And we'll see you guys all very soon. We will actually see you all tomorrow. Thanks so much. So